Hello, this is Multipilot 32 and this is in this tutorial you can see how you uh, uh, are doing for programming the board okay so you need only a TTL uh, UART converter I use a, a cable USB cable with an 232 output standard output and use a simple board that convert uh, uh, 232 UART in a TTL signal and this is the power for the voltage for the Maxim 232 okay so on the multi-pilot uh, we put this thing with a, a green okay these two pin is TX and RX TTL for the UART1 okay and uh, on this header okay you can connect a shortcut header shortcut header okay and put shortcut header here okay when you want programming the board you don't need this header if you want to see the program run you put the header here and click reset okay perfect so on the multi-pilot there is a USB connector actually we use the uh, this connector only for power up the multi-pilot 32 when you power up the multi-pilot the red led power on and on the screen of your computer you see this message the peripheral is not recognized okay so we connect the US cable USB cable okay we power off the multi-pilot take the connector okay for the TX and RX signal and put this connector for power up the convert the converter uh, the power is available on this strip only if I put this shortcut okay on this pin this this pin is uh, in the center between the two either the input and the output of the board okay now I connect this and connect this one okay at this point we have the multi-pilot without the power I connect the USB now I'm ready for upload the firmware okay this is the firmware flash loader demonstrator from ST this is the original firmware that I use for the multi-pilot and uh, here choose the port name uh, it's right yeah. okay okay when I push next if all it's connected in in correct way you can see this uh, semaphore on the screen with the, the green LED perfect okay this is the target STM32 high density continue okay here we have different kind of option you need to choose download to device and choose the file to upload 
mp32 test program dot bin choose the program push next and at this point I uploading the program on the board perfect if I want to start the program I push this pin here okay, at this point I can start the program okay so I need to connect the serial port 4 okay and so I can see the program start I can interact on the serial port and uh, in the test program I put uh, some signal on the PVM and I put also um, some signal on the SPI if I put on the board uh, the oil pan I can receive SPI information from uh, the, um, this, 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 uh, this screen on the terminal okay so I take oil pan this is the DI drones uh, emu and our hardware is fully compatible with the with this uh, this emu we're doing only a simple change on it so these two pin is pair okay and uh, here there is a, a pin spare and here there is GND on the board so we shortcut this two pin in this mode when I connect uh, the board so I need the header pin here for start up the program okay but if I put the oil pan here okay sorry wait. I forget to put the cable adapter okay this is a, a simple cable adapter okay I connect the oil pan here and uh, at this point this shortcut to the multipilot 32 to start so I don't need this pin header I only power up okay and uh, at this point I can see the information from IPAN okay this is the data that I receive from the SPI okay That's all. Thank you.